et jaune. Yeah, it's on. Okay. Today's December 1st, 2009, and I'm going to show you how to make a rock tumbler. Okay. First, you need five gallon water cooler jug. And the jug is fine. Put the handle right here. Makes for some good tumbling action. Okay. So now, once you get your five gallon water cooler jug, you might want to pick up some of this indoor outdoor tread for a staircase comes with an adhesive back and well it makes for some good tumbling because it creates more friction between the rollers and you can see here I wrapped it all the way around yonder all the way up around down here and just in case the roller might slip on the joint I put this extra piece right here over about next to the joints just to make it more continuous but you got to make sure that you got to make sure you don't leave a gap here, okay? It's very important. So when you wrap it all the way around, make sure you ain't got no gap. Be very careful and make it just right. Okay. Now. Now. You're going to need some rocks in your rock tumbler. So find yourself a parking lot with some rocks around it. And uh, pick out all the good ones. I did that. I went to a parking lot. And I picked out all the good ones, okay? Here they are, as you can see, all the good ones. All right, so then you're gonna take all the good rocks and you're gonna put them in this five gallon water cooler jug. And it's very loud. You can get one of these Jiminy Crickets here. Screws up the whole day. Come on, you bastard. If she does anything wrong, she gets out of line, she's got to beat her. She's got to beat her. Come on, Rock. Now, you don't want no boring rocks, okay? You want interesting rocks. Because when you got fun product, you want fun product to be nice for your per lady. You want to be able to give these rocks to a per lady, okay? And a per lady wants interesting rocks. Fill it all up, Jimmy Creek, quick. Okay. And now, if you don't have raw curly jug at home because you're like a regular person, you just drink out that silver thing on the kitchen counter, which is like I do, you gotta go find one of these, okay? So you can either steal it from your office or you can buy it for like $12, $13 at the hardware store for the water. You just gotta go pour it out in the parking lot. Okay, okay. As you can see, folks, we're almost done here. Filling it up with the rocks, and uh, well, this one's gonna be giving me a hard time now, isn't it? Well, I'm not even sure I want I'm just kind of redheaded step shower. Okay. okay we go. All right, almost done now. Now don't lose one. If you lose one on the floor, you have to go dig for later. Sometimes that happens with pasta, or raviolis, or sausages you drop on the floor between the refrigerator and stove, you know. Okay, okay. Now, folks, we're almost done here. We're going to go on step two. Step two. Okay. Step two is to put in your abrasive. In this case, I have pure Michigan sugar sand, okay? Best stuff that God ever made. This came off the beaches of uh, Lake Michigan. Old Michigander. Old Michigan steams like a young man's dream. Our islands and bays are for sportsmen. Okay, now yourself a little uh, cereal box here, make a cone, make a funnel, take about this much of uh, old Michigan sand, very nice, very nice, you can use any sand you want, but I prefer old Michigan sand, okay, now you're going to pour that in here, all right, got everything in there, now, now we're going to need some water, how much water, I don't know, just, uh, just guess, you know, now, Something very important I gotta tell you right now. 
when after we put this water in, we're going to cover it with these airtight seals. Now, if your water is hot, okay, it's going to cool down on them rollers when it starts a tumbling. And it's going to create a vacuum because the hot water is condensing and getting smaller. Okay, and it's going to suck your jar in and it's going to fall off them tumblers because it's going to be all crazy shape, you know. So, you got to use cold water, very cold water. Use cold water. Don't use hot water. Use cold water. Okay, let's do it. Edge machine, pump some cold water in here. Cold water into the jug. Okay, not too much, not too much. The cold water, it helps balance it out, okay. It helps create some tumbling balance. See, if you don't have any water in it, the rollers can't spin the rocks because they just get caught up on each other. When you add water, it makes all them rocks a lot less heavy because they're, they're, they're in the water. So anything you put in water gets less heavy, you know. You can almost pick up your fat granny if she's in the water. Okay, so now, now we got some water in here. Let's see how much we got. About right here, right? When it gets sideways. See now you don't want so much water then it's that it's more than then it's more than this tall. Because when this goes on its side, you want that water to stay in it. You don't want it to leak out, you know. Any more water would be too much, it'd leak out the side. You don't want to. Just want to put this right here. This is saran wrap. I folded it over about 12 times. It's a saran wrap. Okay. All one piece, just fold it over multiple, multiple times. Like the number of children a Catholic family on a farm might have. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some tinfoil, protect this edge. All right. It's going to make sure it doesn't get punctured. Now, we're going to tighten this up with a rubber band as well. And, ladies and gentlemen, here we have a full jug a full jug of beautiful rocks and a brace of sand ready for tumbling. I'll meet you over there at the tumbler.